Luna on Tech Live. Size isn't everything. This pint-sized boat may not look like much, but wait until you find out what it uses to get up to speed. And now, here's Tech Live. Okay, imagine this. How cool would it be if you could convert hydrogen into clean fuel that could power boats with zero emissions? Well, you can. It's called a fuel cell engine, and we ventured out to sea on one of these bad boys packing one. Okay, everybody, remember back when you didn't have to worry so much about polluting the ocean? It was just a pretty, happy, small, small world. Up, campers, because our waters are in a heap of trouble. But things could look up if more boats like these hit the mainstream. Now, this boat may look like one of those water taxis you took as a kid on a ride at Disneyland, but packed with a hydrogen fuel cell engine, this thing is worth 500,000 bucks. But it is one of the only boats in the bay right now not polluting. This is a totally zero emission boat, so that it produces nothing but pure water and a little bit of heat. Fuel cell engine maker Anuview makes it sound like a no brainer. The fuel cell simply uses hydrogen and air to create an electrical current which, produce, which will power an electrical motor. There are no moving parts. But this baby is complex. The sodium borohydride is pumped into this catalyst chamber where it is uh, converted to hydrogen and sodium borate. Okay, so it can be confusing, but listen. You hear that engine? Quiet as a clam and no exhaust. The only byproduct, deionized water. This entire system is um, uh, entirely scalable. So it could end up in all kinds of boats and fleets. It even makes this crusty old skipper want to smile. There's a lot of boats here. If these boats all had fuel cell engines in them, there would be no pollution in this harbor coming from the boats. So maybe it is a small, happy world after all. Sue me, I like this stuff. All right, each of those engines costs about 60 grand, though the price is expected to drop as more are actually manufactured. They're going to hit the market next year.